another beautiful Mercedes-Benz in Tenorite Grey on a 2015 64 registration has just come into stock. Now this is a C250 AMG line with only 30,000 miles on in a fabulous colour and it's got one particular extra on this car which stands out for me. It's got an agility suspension control on it which I'll show you in a few seconds on what it does. Obviously it's an AMG line, so you have the AMG bumpers, you've got the lovely LED high performance headlights with the daytime running lights and the crystal indicators, your standard AMG grills, but then you've got the AMG wheels, AMG side skirt, so it looks fabulous and at 16,990 it's a lot of car for the money, especially for the cars are 30,000 miles. It's been very well looked after, the previous customer did purchase this car from us a couple of years ago and decided to part exchange it and upgrade for a newer one and you know what? It's a fabulous car, they've looked after it so well. You've got a lovely pan of back black centre dash, the flat bottom steering wheel. This one has got the navigation, the Bluetooth and DAB. The full leather interior, the perforated seats and even little things, the customers kept the car so well with a fully fitted Valua AMG mats. If you look at the back seats, and this is something the previous customer pointed out to me and I appreciate him for this because the back seats haven't really been sat in. They are absolutely immaculate. So even though the car's a 2015 64 registration vehicle with only 30,000 miles on, the, the condition of this car in particular is very, very nice. No dents, no scratches again, two keys and full service history. And remember the C250 is a twin turbo diesel, so it has a lot of power, but you also get a combination of running costs, which is nice. The other great benefit is it's only low road tax because it falls within the new tax rules. So the road tax on this car is very low and you're going to get lots of miles per gallon around high 50s up to 60 miles per gallon. Boot space like any what you call family size saloon is very generous, is very big. There is two levers here which you can pull and the seats fall flat so you, you can create more space. And then just under here if you look you've got a cubby hole and then you've got all the original Mercedes manuals, books, and everything else the car sort of comes with. You've also got a reversing camera. When you put the car in reverse, this flap here falls down so you can, you can see exactly where you're going. The car's genuinely a beautiful car. I just don't know play cover. Reversing parking sensors and park assist. Now, we talk about parking sensors and we talk about park assist, but we, just, we brush over it, we just, we mention it like it's a normal thing. If you haven't used park assist before, for me, it's, it's tremendous, it's a bit weird, and it takes a little bit of getting used to it. But the car does park itself, so you, you, you're on a tight street, and you're going to do a parallel park, and you see the gap in between two cars. Now with this one, you indicate left, it measures the gap, and it tells you when to stop. You then put it in reverse, and you let go of the steering wheel, you almost just control the acceleration and braking, and it parks it in that gap neatly, tightly, just perfect almost, and for me, Nice little touch, but you have to use it. It takes you a couple of goes, but you do get used to it, and it makes a difference. The condition of the leather seat, like the driver's seat here, sometimes when you look at a car that's four or five years old, no offence, but the seats have collapsed. They've got lots of creases and cracks, and it's ripped, and it just looks tired. Looks like it's done 130,000 miles. This one only done 30, so you can see it's beautiful. The flat bottom steering wheel, all my headlights, all my window wipers. But this is the, the key thing in this car, because if you look at Mercedes-Benz C-Classes, E-Classes, most customers, when they're building the car new, they'll forget about the little extras. And it's not end of the world, but the agility controller, yeah, normally that says dynamic and comfort, which then gives you the Sport, the Sport Plus, comfort, eco, different driving pattern, depending on what sort of mood you're in. With the agility suspension control, it just makes this car so much more comfortable these are great cars anyway, but with the AMG line, they have a slightly more sporty suspension. So with the agility, you're going to get a sporty feel, but very comfortable at the same time, and it's brilliant, absolutely stunning. Climate control, air conditioning, electric windows and mirrors to give it. 30,000 miles, 16,990. The car does come with a 412-volt MOT, with the two keys. Um, the steward service just now, so we would service the car um, before you collect it. The car has no damage, and I keep talking about the damage, but it's very important when you're looking at cars at other garages, some of them that I, I deal with as well, and I buy cars from them, and it's amazing where they will have the wheels they be refurbing, and they say to use car, I can't do nothing about it. Well, really, if you're gonna spend any amount of money, you want the car to look as good as possible. Dents and scratches, bumper corners, we look for all that. 
Again, when we're buying cars, may that be a part exchange or a purchase, we check for what we call lines so that all add up. Any door drops, it's so important. If the door's going to drop on it, there's a good chance the car's going to side collision or it's been some sort of collision. So we do check a lot. I would do diligence checks on our vehicles are uh, proper and very particular because we want to give you, the end user, the best car possible. What a fabulous example at 16.9 I know. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.